Social psychology. Social psychology, according to Lewin, uh, 1951, is the study of how people influence others' behaviors, beliefs, and attitudes. It isn't just about the overt influences, but can also be imagined. For example, the thought that others are watching you can cause you to, be to behave differently. Social psychology looks at how people react in certain contexts and, influenced, and how they are influenced by others. First off, let's define what is meant by attitudes. Attitudes are favorable or unfavorable evaluative reactions towards an object or person. An example of this is having certain likes or interests in one field and dislikes in another. The evaluations of an attitude manifest themselves into three areas, which include the affective, uh, which are evaluations based on feelings. For example, Indiana Jones hates snakes. There's also behavioral tendencies, which is the physical reaction to the thing that causes a certain attitude. For example, Indiana Jones would try everything to avoid snakes because he hates them. And then there's the cognitive, which is the final area uh, where you know a certain thing about where the attitude is based on. So for example, you know, you would know information about snakes, uh, simultaneously making some sort of judgment on whether you would, whether you like them or not. So another important question includes how are attitudes formed? Attitudes towards something can be formed through mere exposure, which is repeated exposure that causes people to eventually formulate attitudes. For example, repeated exposure through advertisements will cause people to make a judgment on whether they like the product or not. An example of the mere exposure effect includes uh, a foreign language experiment in which Chinese characters are shown to participants who don't know Chinese. Uh, some characters are shown more times than others. Participants eventually rated the characters that they saw many times higher than characters that they've seen less, hence being an example of the mere exposure effect. Then we have classical conditioning, which is another way attitudes are formed, such as Pavlov pairing dog food with the, bell, with the ringing of a bell. This caused dogs to have a favorable opinion to the bell, as evident by their salivation. Operant conditioning causes like them as opposed to those who pushed away from them. Um, the functions of attitudes. It is thought that individuals uh, hold to this idea of cognitive consistency, in which we try to maintain internal consistency, agreement and order between our beliefs and our physical actions. We don't want to be seen by others as hypocrites, basically. As such, we like people who think and act like us, who are just as consistent and share similar attitudes like us. This is according to Haider 1946. This concept is explored in Haider's Valence Theory, which states Attitudes as relating to three different elements of triads, including the person or individual, the other, and the attitude object. And this is how attitudes and social psychology are intertwined or interconnected. Since individuals want to be and be seen as consistent by others, if there is an odd number of positive relationships, the triads become balanced and there is no conflict. For example, the relationship is balanced when you like something other people like. And that means you like other people because you share something in common, you share the same attitude as someone. Also, if you don't like something and others don't like something, then others share the same attitude, and thus it is balanced, since you dislike what others dislike. 
This can also explain the old saying that the enemy of my enemy is my friend, since both you and the other dislike a certain enemy, and thus you like the other, and the other likes you, because both have a shared common dislike. On the other hand, if there is an even number of positive relationships, then it is an unbalanced relationship. This includes liking something that others do not like, and not liking something that others like. Unbalanced triads create tension, and thus we are motivated um, to restore this balance and trying to change our attitudes towards the object or other person. This motivation is acted out through the method of least effort, and it is the point when one's attitude is easily changed. So for example, uh, you might have a particular political view that others do not have. Either you change yourself to conform with the views of others, uh, which is changing that political view, or you change other people to accept your view. Either way, you are trying to balance out this attitude so that it sounds consistent. 